It's Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo. Today is my last video of my eight day cruise. Finally. It's taken me forever to do these because my computer keeps acting up, but I just got it back from the computer hospital. So hopefully we'll have success today. Last um, port of call that we had was Grand Turk. Again, one of my favorite places to be. I know y'all are probably saying, Terry, you say that with every port. Well, I guess what I need to say is that I just love the Caribbean. But we've been to Grand Turk on several occasions, and the first time we did take an excursion, I'm not for sure if they still have the same excursion. Uh, we took a little tour of the island, and then afterwards uh, they took us to an area where we did some kayaking, and then we snorkeled, and at the end we were able to pick out a conch shell. They had all these conch shells from this one area uh, that we were snorkeling in. And um, it was a really, really good excursion. But I actually recommend that maybe you do something else. And I'll tell you what that is in a minute because that's what we did. Um, when we first got off the ship though, we did have to do our little shopping. And again, um, in the fun times, we were able to get our little map. Let me show you the, this is the shopping area. You actually, the ship docks here and you walk down this pier. Now, it kind of looks like it's a long way and it's, it's really not. Right in this area is a, a, a beach. It's okay. Um, I actually um, like to go um, someplace else. And like I said, I'll tell you what we did. This beach is okay, but every time I've ever been, and I've been there in August, I've been there in May, and I've been there in October, September. It seems like there's always a lot of seaweed there. Now, maybe it's just the times I've been there, but I don't really like to go to a beach when there's a lot of seaweed. It's kind of icky. But anyway, so you go through here, and then you do all your shopping. And um, I uh, got a few freebies. I'll show you those. Had a little um, pouch. Now, last year when we got these pouches, there was actually something in them, but... This actually came from Columbia Emeralds, and they're nice to put maybe your little necklace or some piece of jewelry in there. Um, we got shells, went to Diamonds International, and Grand Turk is the shell. Let's see, there you go. And I got three of them. Again, I don't know how sometimes I get a lot of these things like this. I don't know where I got this little freebie, but it's it's a nice little pendant or charm. It's a key with a heart. And, um, and of course, uh, at this place, we got uh, another little pendant. And it's supposed to be the representation of a fire opal. And it is actually pretty. Um, we also got, as we did in every other port when we went to... Um, I forgot what it's called, but it's it's the bamboo place where you can get your bamboo sheets. It's right next to um, Del Sol. Um, they always hand out these uh, bamboo lays. And um, so I have a ton of these. And I have to show you what I did. I actually made, I put some shells in it, made a shorter necklace. Um, so some ideas of what you can do with some of your freebies. Okay, so after we collected our freebies, one thing, there were two things that I wanted to get here. I wanted to get a margarita t-shirt and it was a specific one that I had seen last year. Wasn't for sure I was gonna find it. I didn't find it. So kind of let this be a lesson that if you see something you like, get it because next time you go, it's probably not gonna be there. The other thing I wanted was a Ron John's Grand Turk shirt. And so I was able to get one. I have tons of Ron John's uh, Cocoa Beach t-shirts because I actually grew up in that area. And, you know, when I went to high school, that's pretty much what everybody wore. We wore, um, guys wore board shorts and Ron John's t-shirts and the girls wore jeans and Ron John's t-shirts. So I have uh, quite a few of them um, from over the, the years. Okay. Um, so when we got finished with our shopping, um, my mom and my husband and I, we went over, we went into Margaritaville, kind of looked around a little bit. And then as you go through, there's a huge pool. It is actually supposed to be the biggest pool in the Caribbean. And it probably is. 
And this is what I suggest you do. If you don't want to spend the money for an excursion, head over to Margaritaville. We don't drink, so you do not have to drink. There is a bar there. Um, from what I understand, their drinks were pretty expensive. Um, but in my opinion, I think drinks are expensive anyway. Probably not any more than you would find on the ship. But we were able to find a really good area just right there by the pool. And so we put our stuff on the uh, lounge chairs and then sat there by the pool. One word of warning, you do need to watch your stuff. Do not leave it there. Uh, we had an incident last year where um, we almost got our stuff taken. Uh, a local young uh, man was there. I would say he was probably 11 and he was kind of wandering around going through people's stuff. Now there is security, but you know, security can't be everywhere at the, all at the same time. So watch your stuff. But um, my husband, he's not much of a sun person. So he went back to the ship. My mom's not much of a sun person. I love the sun. I love being out at the beach in the pool. In fact, when I was a little girl, I can remember going to the beach with my family and we'd be there all day and it was time to leave. They had to literally drag me off of the beach and I'm still the same way. Um, but anyway, my mom compromises with me and I compromise with her. We go, we don't stay as long as I want, but at least I have somebody that, that will stay with me. And I'm sure if it wasn't that my mom wasn't there, my husband would stay too, but he got out of it. <laughs> he was happy. So anyway, what, what did we do at the pool? Well, um, there's a couple people that we met and talked to. They were really nice. And um, we just took turns walking the around the pool. Uh, water walking, you actually burn more calories than land walking. So we, we did that. And um, there's an area where they do have a flow rider. And so I would stop and watch them. That is actually an excursion you can do is flow riding. Um, Probably in my younger years, I would have done it, but I really don't want to break any bones at this point in time. So I just watched other people do it. Uh, so we were there a couple of hours and uh, we decided to go back to the ship and we had uh, lunch. We went to the pasta bar. I'm thinking that may be my favorite place uh, for lunch. And um, what you do is there's sheets of paper that you fill out. You put what kind of pasta you want what type of topping you want, what type of salad, and do you want bread, and you hand it in, and they give you this little box thing that lights up when your food is ready, kind of like what you get this at a restaurant when you're, you're waiting for a table. And, um, and it was really, really good. And then after that, we just went back out to the pool. Actually, my mom went and took a nap, and I went over to the kids section and that's where I found my husband and my son. They were going down the slides. And so I took some pictures of them and, and watched them go down the slides. I really wish I could go down the slides, but with my really bad claustrophobia, those tube slides, I just can't, I can't do them. So I just watch other people do them. But afterwards, um, it was time that we got ready for dinner that night. I did fail to mention that we, there was another um, dress up night. I think it was the night before, but this night was cruise casual. After dinner, you could either go to a movie out on uh, the Lido deck, or you could go to a show, which was the Hasbro show. Um, the movie that night was um, Guardians of the Galaxy, and we really, didn't want to go see that. And Hasbro show, we'd seen a hundred times. If you've not seen it, you will enjoy it. What they do is they, they pick people out of the audience to come and do games. And um, they do have winners and prizes and all. And actually, it's I would say it, it's geared more to um, families with, with children. Maybe preteen or... Uh, older elementary school age kids, and, and I've seen some actually uh, maybe eight or nine year olds up there participating too, but it, it was, it's a lot of fun. But like I said, we'd seen it a lot, so we decided to go and enjoy some of the games that are out on deck. We, um, my, my husband and my mom and I did that while my son played basketball, but we played putt-putt, we did a couple of rounds of that, and they have these giant checker and chess sets 
and we played a um, couple of checkers. Um, I lost really bad the first time, and then the second time I did I did okay. And you know what? It has inspired me. I actually want to to paint one out on our um, in our backyard. We have a, a an area that we can do that. So. Maybe in the next couple of weeks, or, or maybe I'll have to wait till for the spring, I'll um, get one in our backyard. Anyway, after that, we, um, we played some cornhole or beanbag toss, and uh, we actually got pretty good at that. We played that for a long time, and um, again, I'm like, oh, my husband needs to make us one of these. They were a lot of fun. I think the kids and the grandkids would enjoy it. Um, Somebody even came up to us and asked us if we were going to do the tournament the next day, which, no, we did not. But there are tournaments. So anyway, that is pretty much um, our eight-day cruise on the Carnival Sunshine. One thing I would like to mention to you, my husband does like to go to the art auctions. I've gone with him before. I don't like to just sit there. Um... I, I, I am one that has to always be moving, um, but I have been, and I have actually find it pretty interesting. They do have free champagne for those of you who drink champagne, and they do have prizes. I've actually, I want to watch one time. I've won some free art, and uh, I actually won a, a bracelet. Uh, but everybody that does attend and stays does get a free piece of art, and I wanted to show you a piece um, that we got this last time. I thought it was really cool. I'm actually uh, getting ready to put together one of our rooms. I'm gonna call it the zebra room because I am gonna put some zebra stuff in and he will go really nice in there. It's gonna be more, I guess, of a jungle room. But they do have some really nice pieces. In fact, the pieces behind me, can't. there's a glare in there, but these, um, let's see if I'll move that up. Both these pieces were free and I just went to Hobby Lobby and these are some of their stock frames, and I just had them framed. They actually did them on the spot for me. And we have several throughout our home uh, of some free art that we got. So, you know, go check it out. You don't have to buy anything to, to get some nice things. And some of their stuff, I will admit, is very, very pricey. Others, though, um, are not. They're, they're pretty affordable. So go check it out. But anyway, this is the end of my eight-day cruise review. I love cruising. Uh, for those of you that have never been, you might want to check it out. It's actually very affordable. You can get uh, cruises for under $100 a day. Um, and um, there's there are a lot to do. There's a lot to do. Sometimes on the sea days, maybe it's not so much, but just relax. Um, go on the, the rope thing at, or go down the slides or go to an art auction or, or just relax. But anyway, I'm going to sign off for now. I hope you subscribe to my channel. And this is Gordon the Tapping Flamingo and I signing off for now. Have a wonderful day.